Karthik Tambe and today we are at the India Gold Conference here in Bengaluru. I have uh, Mr. Chetan Bandari who is the director at Giant who also owns a staying and a hallmarking center in Mumbai. Hello sir, how are you? Fine, fine. Thank you for uh, getting me here. Thank you sir. It's my privilege. Uh, so sir, uh, just a little bit, you have attended the seminar on uh, assaying and uh, refining as you are uh, an assayer and a hallmarker as well. Right. What did you think about the seminar? Like, uh, how was it? Was it go, uh, good enough? Was it interesting? No, uh, at the outset, I would say it was fabulous for the reason that it's it's unique and it's like specific to a subject which, yes. which is very core, yeah. core of uh, the testing thing. Yeah. So even in case of refining or in case of hallmarking, assaying is something which is the heart of all our activities. So unless we are sure on our results, we cannot move forward. So I think this is an excellent initiative taken together by Mr. Ankur Goyal and uh, Srinivasa uh, sir. So I think uh, there will be more of such sessions which will help the industry uh, to a great extent. So sir, any feedback or anything which we should improve on or any topic which you think we left out at this seminar today? No, I think it's a pretty good start, uh, the conference which has happened uh, given the time frame we had, a one day seminar. But I think in the future, uh, your management will do really well. I am quite sure on it. So sir, uh, as you are a director at IPJA as well, what do you think is the plan for the future uh, in the assaying and the hallmarking part where you will uh, envision? Yeah, so now uh, like uh, the IPJA members have given me this responsibility this year, they have elected me as a director and director for hallmarking. So it's it has become my responsibility to make my first, my first challenge would be or my first responsibility would be to make uh, create an awareness among the jewelers that whether they are uh, getting into the right thing. First of all, they are doing their hallmarking stuff properly and they should have a fair amount of knowledge of how the entire scheme works okay. basically. The basic objective or the primary objective is to fulfill the consumer uh, trust basically okay. and, and get in more transparency in the system. If you are more transparent and trustworthy, your business automatically will not increase. So that is the prime focus which I am looking about. And small problems or small clarifications or uh, representing BIS through the government to address our issues in terms of hallmarking mm -hmm. or the bullion hallmarking which is in pipeline. Yeah. So that is my task uh, to uh, uh, at least to represent the technical committees of BIS. So that is the role which I have been given and I will try to play the best of it. Thank you. Thank you.